Hello YouTube, Tim here. We've got the U3 curve bow that I showed before. We know this bow, we've studied it well. Then we have this. This is what we were working on before. The fiberglass reinforced U3 curve. And believe me, it is considerably heavier. It does have a lot more mass to it and it feels like it's gonna be a little bit more rigid. So let's go and take that and put it on the tree. Let's test it out with the string and draw it. What's the worst that could happen? A big explosion? I have no idea. I haven't even strung the bow yet. Yeah, I, yeah, it definitely feels out of alignment. Oh, I bet I know what happened. I bet the the fiberglass rods are probably not flat with the with the bow. Well, we'll just have to to make do. Holy crap! That's that is a rigid bow. Yikes! It definitely looks a little bit more stiff in the handle than the other one, and it looks like I could improve the tiller over here a little bit by fattening the bow up. Yeah, I kind of want to get some safety glasses, because I have no idea how this thing is going to fail. But, I mean, the pipe can take it. The pipe takes the bends just fine. The fiberglass might break, but that shouldn't destroy the pipe. Let's just give it a try. Let's at least do a little draw. Okay, of course, zero pounds at zero inches. Oh, brace height. Six and three quarters. That's about almost perfectly the same as the other one. The other one increased because it had a little bit of a set. There you go. Well, at 20 inches, it's 45 pounds. Yeah, I think it's just safe to say this is going to be a heavier bow. 21 inches. 48 pounds. So we're gaining like 3 pounds per inch. This should be like a 60 pound bow at full draw if that trend continues, not accounting necessarily for stack, which the other bow exhibits towards the end of its draw length. The last 2 inches the other bow put on something like 3 to 5 pounds of weight per inch for one extra inch. So Getting this to 28 inches might not even be possible, strictly speaking. Twenty-two is 53.7. This is a heck of a bow for something so short. I mean, I expected it to be stiffer, but for just two fiberglass rods, I'm very impressed. I think this same technique would lend itself very well to reinforcing other larger bows. The problem is, if the bows become too large, then either you have to use too many fiberglass rods, and it'll make it unreasonably stiff, or yeah, you just don't have a good way to attach it to the edge. You really don't want it. There's, there's no way to center it. So that I, I guess you could make a plug, drill a hole through the plug, and insert the rod into the plug, and then it'll be like a leaf spring inside the bow, if that makes any sense. Okay, 23 inches. Put me eight pounds in increase. 24. 63.65. Makes me almost wish that I had made this a little bit longer. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. 25. 68 pounds and 25 inches. Well, if we can get to 26, that's my normal draw. And I'll say we can, we can leave it there. But this is going to be at least 70 pounds. 
I'm astonished. And I'm a little nervous. Seventy-eight pounds and twenty-six inches. Holy carruthers. So for four dollars, was it four dollars or two dollars a fiberglass rod? At any case, it's 20, 30 cents for the PVC, nothing for a 41 inch section, and then a few dollars for that. You could have a 70 pound bow that you can draw to a, at least to a reasonable draw length. 26 inches is not bad. It's 80 freaking pounds? <laughs> wow. Okay. I think this thing deserves to be test shot, at least just to, to see what the heck it, it does. get a killer headache, so excuse me if I'm a little quieter than usual. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is definitely stout. So this is in excess of what I wanted. It works, but I didn't want an 80 pound bow of this size. So not only do you have to contend with massive stack, but you can barely draw the thing, and I'm a little scared. I do want to add a handle, hopefully not one which will add extra stiffness and rigidity, but we want to make it a little bit more comfy because a half inch pipe is just not very comfy to hold, but good golly Miss Molly, that thing is heavy. It's just asking to be taken out and shot, so we'll have to get around to that. Whether or not this is a good idea or a bad idea, I'll leave that to you. As you can see, I'd like to reinforce it just a little bit there, that would perfect the, the tiller, but this has been a lot of fun, and at least as a proof of concept, I think we have something here showing that it can be done, and it's not instantly going to shatter and explode and make you unhappy. So thanks for watching, YouTube.